Hey everyone, my name is Michael Gray, and today I'm playing Death at Cape Porto, a Dana Nightstone novel. This is the fourth game in the Dana Nightstone series. It is a tale of romance and murder. That woman right there with the blonde hair is our hero, Dana Nightstone. She is a novelist, and she has the ability to see ghosts. I am going to play on casual mode. Miss Nightstone, thank you for coming. I'm Richard Aldama, the owner of this hotel. It means a lot to me that you were able to attend our launch party. I'm a big fan of your books, though I must say your ghost stories are a bit over the top. Maybe you could write about the hotel instead. Give it some of your literary flair? Well, I must attend to the press. But please do me a favor. Try not to scare the guests with your stories. We have no ghosts here. I'm sorry, Mr. Aldama, but if only you could see what I see. You'd know nothing could be further from the truth. Chapter 1! The Aldama Hotel Dana is here at the opening of the Aldama Hotel, and it looks like there's a ghost. Sure, let's do the tutorial. Uh, you can talk to people? Miss Nightstone, please, show yourself around. If you do decide to set one of your novels at my hotel, Maybe I can give you a discount. On your next stay, of course. A man must make a living. Yes, yes, I'm so poor I can't afford a razor to shave my scruffy face. It's sad, it's tragic, really. So take a look at this! We have the Aldama family crest. And I believe we have a puzzle. Uh-oh, ghost. Oh, what, what, what are you doing, Mr. Ghost? Crazy, creepy ghost. So we need to get inside here because the ghost is originating from inside there. To solve this puzzle, you need to get some grapes. Then you go outside and you use the grapes on this little bird. So, now that we have a diamond hairpin, we can get inside the case. This is the book that was glowing just now. It's a collection of stories and legends from this city. Alright, that would be this book. This is the current heir of the Aldama family. Richard! Here's a miniature model of the new Aldama property. The Aldama Vineyards produces high-quality grapes, which are used to create this fine beverage. Grape juice! This crest represents the Aldama's family wealth and authority. Joel Aldama is the clan's most notable ancestor who expanded the business significantly. All right, so this is Richard's grandpa, Joel. He doubled the estate by marrying a competitor's daughter, dark-haired beauty, Gabriella Montez. Joel married the beautiful Gabriella. After the death of his first wife, Joel remarried. Gabriella died under strange circumstances, so Joel married somebody else. This seems like a treasured collection, which has been through a long passage of time. One of Richard Aldama's properties won a trophy for excellence last year. The ghostly energy seems to be centered on this newspaper clipping. All right, the newspaper clipping is made of several pieces. Grab all of the pieces and put them in the book. And now we're gonna find out a little bit more 
about the mysterious death of Gabriela Montez. Gabriela's killer... She was killed? What? I suddenly felt very weak, like the room was fading away. What's happening to me? Well, it looks like we got sucked inside the newspaper. Please, I'm innocent. I loved Gabriella. The Aldamas framed me. You must believe me. Is that the ghost? Please, I'm innocent. Hmm, so the guy who becomes the ghost says he is innocent. So let's see, what you want to do here is grab the baton and hit the bell. Were you trying to escape? Quiet down now. This lets us look at this piece of paper. Ah, the detective's files. We need to examine the footprints here. Okay, this goes here. And this goes there. Somewhere here. Please? Oh, uh, there, there. Hey, hey, I found it. Okay. Um... Don't know where that goes. I'm going to use a hint. The hint says that this one goes up here. You can see the hint thing in the bottom right-hand corner. It slowly fills up over time. If you're ever stuck on a puzzle or you need a hint as to what you need to do next, use the hint button. That there and this here. It does look like there was somebody else at the crime scene. Hmm, mysterious. Also mysterious is this. See the playing card? We have collectibles, I guess? I think there's a playing card on every single screen, so just keep your eyes out for playing cards and maybe you get something. So the prisoner says that he was knocked unconscious near the dead body. Whoa, 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 hold on a second. So Gabriella was engaged to the prisoner, but she married Joel instead? And then she was killed afterwards. Okay, so they blamed him because he was the original fiancé? Is that it? What is this guy's name, by the way? Do we know what his name is? I'm gonna call him Hottie, the prisoner. Okay, Hottie, here you go. Here are some bandages. I mean, look at look at his hair, man. That is very well combed. He might be in jail, but he still manages to clean up nicely. Partied a bit too hard, did you, Miss Nightstone? You were knocked out for a while there. So, Richard, hey, um, what's going on, buddy? You missed the whole party. Everyone's gone home now. Say, what's that news clipping doing on the floor? News clipping? Well, I certainly wasn't sucked into the past through the news clipping, if that's what you're thinking. Ha! Ha ha That would be ridiculous. Framed? Please. Silvio murdered Gabriella and got what he deserved. A lifetime in jail. Now? Excuse me, but I'm going back to my office. Party's over, Miss Nightstone. Silvio! Silvio the fancy prisoner. Whoa, he does not look very fancy anymore. I mean, his hair has not been combed now that he's a ghost. Ooh, and there's a playing card. Oh yeah, yeah, his hair is completely messy. Jail does not suit him. Either that or being dead doesn't suit him. I'm, I'm not sure which. So we have the map here. The map shows us where we can go, and it shows us where we can do things. So we can do something here, and we can do something here. So what is it that we can do here? We can get a switch. And there's a battery there, but we can't get the battery quite yet. Let's see, we can get one of these. We need gears, but this is rusty. 
looks like I need a screwdriver. And this is a puzzle. Yeah, we, we have a hard puzzle trying to get this gear because the gear is deep inside the vase. Really, you think Dana would be able to pick up the vase and turn it upside down, but no, 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 that's impossible. We need to have a puzzle. We need to have a puzzle instead. Okay, so the ghost is clearly leading us to Richard's uh, apartment room. Ooh, card. What is it that the ghost wanted me to see? Is that an image of a dagger? Oh, 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 he almost saw us. Oh, that's not good. So there's a dagger. There's a dagger, and we need to check this out, so we need to figure out a way to get rid of Richard. We also want to go... Wah! Ghosts! We also want to go outside to the swimming pool, but, you know, you know, I want to go swimming. It's, it's nice and warm outside. I always go swimming when I visit Portugal. And also, rusty things, rusty things. Okay, so screwdriver, right, I have the screwdriver. So I can get the metal hand. And I can also go over here and use the nameplate to get inside the kitchen. So let's see, we have a puzzle here. This is a hidden objects challenge. Just find everything on the list. Some of the things are going to be more difficult. So, for example, we have to find some things by putting the handle on the fridge, then opening the fridge. Alright, fish! What you want to do is put the salami here and cut the salami with a knife to get salami pizza. I usually call that pepperoni pizza, but hey, either way, it's delicious. Okay, ice cream goes on a cone. And open this up to get corn. I guess Dana's hungry because she's just getting all sorts of food. So let's see, we have a gear and the fish goes here, but we can't cook it because there's no button another card and this is going to be the puzzle we are collecting gears because we want to put them here to operate the dumbwaiter to mr. Aldama's office so we're gonna sneak into his office using the dumbwaiter so let's see I use the knife here to get the battery and over here Whoa-oh, looks like there's a problem with the power. Hmm. We can take advantage of that. And let's do some breaking and entering. Now, uh, I should caution all my viewers, if you are at a hotel, you should not break into the key section. You, you really should not be breaking into anything. So we need to move the keys around so they're all good. So this one has a little cross on it. So that would be this. That's a little cross. This one looks sort of like an alien thingy. So alien thingy goes there. One with the lines. That looks perfect. Okay, that has a lot of lines. That goes there. And that goes there. Okay, now we have all of the keys. Cool, is there anything else we can do here? Let's take a look. Nope, the only place we can do something is the hallway. Specifically, we can use the key here. All right, time to go swimming. Wait, is that a cat? Oh, whoa, whoa, Mr. Whiskers, why are you hurting me? Well, Mr. Whiskers has a key. Ooh, playing card. Now use the gauntlet here to get a gear. All right, we have three out of six. The Aldama Vineyards. Perfect, I can go there and have some grapes. What 
is here? We have an oil can, a card. Wow, check out that view. And uh, Mr. Aldama has a book about himself. Funny how he strikes the exact same pose in every single picture he takes. Huh. Oh! Ghosts! Okay, I'm not going swimming anymore. I don't go swimming when there are ghosts in the pool. Personal rule. So inside here, oh, there was a mouse on the floor. Inside here we have a card and we have a gear. This thing needs to be polished. We can't see it. Somebody who owns Mr. Whiskers has a locked locker. Good, okay, this needs some batteries. I need one more battery. And I need the button here, so smash. Smash it with the gauntlet to get the button. Go here, use the fishing net to get the wrench. Go here, use the fishing net to get the cloth. And the cats. We need to find a way to make the cat happy. I think we can make the cat happy by using the fish inside the microwave. So we'll put the button here, set it to fish, and play. Alright, fancy fish. Very nice. That will be perfect for the cat. Also, I think I forgot something. Alright, now we have the key to the locker. Perfect. Paperclip! Yeah, 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 that paperclip is important. We need it all the way back here. For a gear. Hmm, what else? I've got lots of things here in my inventory. Let me see. We have some oil here. How can I open up the oil thing? Oh, okay. You can use the handkerchief. I tried the handkerchief. It didn't look like that worked. Okay, use the handkerchief. And now we have oil for the oil can. Perfect. I know exactly what we need to oil. And what is this key for? The locker. Right, it's for the locker. So we need oil for this thing. Right, I had the plug, or I mean the switch. I have the switch. And we need oil for this. A nozzle and some polish. Perfect. We can use the wrench here. Three wrenches at the same time to give us the keg. What am I doing? Okay, so I plug this in, I use the nozzle, and then I use the nozzle again to get the gear. Seriously though, why couldn't Dana just turn the vase upside down? Is it too heavy? I guess it's kind of a big vase. Okay, I'll, I'll cut her some slack. So let's see, over here we want to put these. And now the dumbwaiter is working. Now we can sneak into the... Wait a minute. Hmm. Yeah, we can't sneak into the office. Richard is still there. So where are we going? We are going here. Put some polish there. Clean it off with the handkerchief. And this gives us a puzzle. Two-part puzzle, which is what I like. I like these two-part puzzles. Part one, move everything the way it's supposed to be. So move it so everything is facing right side up. Part two, figure out where everything is. So the coffee is at B30. Letter. The letter is at G45. The car.
car is at H15. Kind of a long puzzle. Lightning bolt, C20. The telephone here, where is that telephone? Telephone is at E55. And the final thing, Richard's cell phone, is at C25, or C45, my mistake. Oh, no, 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 I'm making mistakes here. C45, Richard's room. So let's turn off the power to C45. Oh, no, oh, this, this challenge. It's sort of like Minesweeper. What you want to do is create little lines everywhere. And the number uh, on the lines is going to be the number of connections going off of that line. difficult. I'm sure I'll be able to figure it out. It looks like I'm making a mistake with number four here. Okay, that looks good. And that. Alright! Mm -hmm. So the number refers to the number of wires touching the particular square. Okay, Richard's just strolling down the hall, uh, the hall, doesn't notice the ghost. And the ring fell off. Oh dear. So what am I doing? I am trying to find battery. Where is the third battery? Maybe it's in the locker. Yep, it was in the locker. I know I keep my spare battery in the locker. Totally. Yeah, that's that's totally where I keep my batteries. Let's see. I'm grabbing this here, and now that Richard is gone, I can sneak into his office. So let's see. Use the flashlight on the dumbwaiter to reach the office. Ah, oh, ghost! And this is the emergency light! Richard's room has an emergency light, so then why did he leave instead of turning on the emergency light? Huh. Whatever. Okay, we've got several things we can do here. Oh! Okay. I bought the old police station. Hmm. Strange. And what's here? The four emblems go here. And it's a file on Silvio, the person who was framed for murder. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! So this was the fire that destroyed Silvio's business? But what is Silvio and Gabriella? Oh, so they were a couple. They were engaged. But then she married somebody else and was killed afterwards. Oh no. A mysterious stick figure is setting everything on fire! Those evil, evil stick figures! Uh, uh, what do we do? What do we do? A uh, puzzle! Of course, a puzzle. So we want to spell out the name Silvio. Alright, S, S, I. LV, 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 Silvio! Okay, we have a wrench and that thing. Now to check out the car. Okay, we have that. Put a bucket here. We use the trowel to get sand in the bucket, and we use the wrench here to get the valve. 
cars have valves? I didn't know that. Ooh, card. Cool. No, no, no. Hold on a second. What am I doing here? I am putting the sand on top of the fire hose. Then I use the glue to fix the fire hose. And now I go over here. So I want the hose here, and I want the valve here, and I want to tighten both of them with the wrench. Now I turn the valve, and I can put out the fire. The flames are dangerous, so put them out in the proper order. One, two, three. Yep, those flames were top priority. One, two, three, four. All right, we put out the fire. Does that mean we just changed history? Huh. And wait a minute, what's this? J. Aldama? That's some pretty incriminating evidence. Not sure the police are gonna believe me when I said I went back in time using a magical newspaper clipping, but I'm going to add it to my notebook anyway. This is the notebook. I haven't shown you this. This notebook keeps track of all of the things which have happened so far. We went to the past. We uh, set off that thing. Gabriella and Silvio were engaged. So what next? Ah, this. We need to fix the family tree. So let me see. I think the the green people go on the left. Grandma and Grandpa go on the top. So let's see. All right, okay. And I think gray goes over here. Okay, green, gray. You can kind of see the colors are supposed to match. Mm, looks like we have a nice light blue there in the middle. That that looks good. That looks good. But it looks like it looks like our friend Richard is completely out of place. Maybe he's here on the end. No. Blue with blue, that looks good. That woman looks good. Okay, pretty much everything looks good. Where is my mistake? Have I like switched these two? No, 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 no. Those, those are, those are fine. Hmm. I'm not seeing my mistake. Skip button. Oh, oh, I mixed the blues with the greens. Oh, okay, okay. My mistake. Signet ring goes here. And Richard likes his grandpa, so that would be his safe code. J. Aldama. A L D A M A. Ooh, and this is the dagger that he was trying to hide. Let's take a look at this dagger. Certainly a ferocious looking weapon. And I believe this is the end of the chapter. Oh no, I hear footsteps coming my way. I need to hide quickly before. The local police station might have the answers to my question, but most importantly, I do hope nobody thinks to look in this dumbwaiter. I emerged from the dumbwaiter when the coast was clear, then off to find out what Aldama was hiding. Hmm, 
I think he's hiding some sort of murder. 